with the uh, Solomon Islands government to set up a coastal aquaculture centre on this site. The initial work of the centre will be to set up a giant clam hatchery. Um, now after some years, up to about five years, the uh, activities of the hatchery will be reviewed by ECLAM and the government and um, if there is any um, gain in actually forming a commercial company, then it will be split off from the rest of the Coastal Aquaculture Centre to become a commercial company. Um, whether, in fa whether or not this happens, we'll just have to wait and see. First started my contract with uh, ODA. The agreement with the government here for the site had not been signed yet. And so I initially went to James Cook University in Townsville, Australia, and I, in all I spent six months there. The first couple of months or so I spent working um, closely with the people, on the workers of the clam facility on Orpheus Island, and uh, it gave me an opportunity to actually work um, First hand, get first hand experience of uh, spawning clams, uh, doing gonad biopsies, algal culture, um, and really going through the, all the work that they're doing there at present. Um, the rest of my time I s enabled me to, to learn how to use a microcomputer, which I'd never really worked with before, and also to set up a database for equipment and whatever that would be needed on the site and a list of suppliers for that equipment and that was probably one of the most useful things I got out of my stay so there. you say that they, their input was quite substantial and useful? Yeah, I, um, it was, it was a very useful for myself because I'd never actually done any uh, biopsy work, never actually um, spawned a clam before. Do you think that the, uh, the methods that are being used at JCU uh, will be applicable here with, with slight modification or with no modification at all? Um, yes, I think the, the methods they're using at JCU will, will have to be modified to a, a certain extent here. Um, their setup there is, is really based on a money's no limit. Um, you know, money's no object sort of attitude. I'm not saying that they waste vast amounts of money, but they, if they need something to do their research, they can go out and buy it. Whereas we have to be a little more careful, and we're going to be looking for alternatives to some of the more expensive options that they've gone for. For instance, fiberglass tanks.